Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wisdom Wednesdays, and I want to talk to you about why we all need to shut the F up. Now, I'm not actually telling you that you need to shut the F up. I'm saying that we need to start listening more. We need to start being more aware of when we are talking and why we are not listening. When we stop talking, we can hear what someone actually has to say, because a lot of the time, People aren't so forthright in what they want to tell us or how they're feeling, but we can usually infer by listening and being sensitive and really picking up on key things that someone has to say. It comes through in their body language and their gestures and how they're looking at you. When you be quiet and you're not talking as much, you're getting to know someone. You're getting to know who they really are and what they have to say. We often find ourselves, you know, wanting to say something right away or thinking about what we're going to say next while someone else is talking, but if you stop, and you're present in the moment, and you listen to someone else, you're able to actually know what's going on and recall facts. I find it mind-boggling that people find it so surprising that I can recall things that they've told me, or where they're from, or the fact that they have brothers and sisters, or whatever else. I think a great test of this is that when we first meet someone, we tend to be like, hi, I'm Barrett, nice to meet you, and then hear their name, and then just forget it almost instinctively, and instantly because we're just so used to saying our name and being like what's happening what's on to the next but if you say hi I'm Barrett it's nice to meet you Joe oh Joe where are you from oh Joe you're from Long Island by saying this person's name over and over and repeating a fact with that name in mind you're getting to remember their name there's it's a little trick to repetition and kind of association but what I'm getting at is that you're listening. You're forcing yourself to not think about yourself and what you have to say. I'm super guilty of this. I'm not sitting here and acting like I am perfect at all with any of these videos. Again, these things are me reminding myself while reminding you guys as well. And I think that where I'm really trying to get at is that I found it's really hard right now to get to know new people and to date and to get your voice heard. Because whether or not you're willing to listen doesn't mean that the person on the other side of that conversation is willing to listen as well. And it can be really frustrating when you're like, I just said this maybe two minutes ago or like three seconds ago and you're now asking me, like, I know you're not listening. We're really good at multitasking. We have our phone in our hand, we're on our computer, we're watching TV, we're talking to someone. But the thing is, when you stop with the distractions and you give yourself in all your presence... You're showing that you care, and someone's way more likely to give you more detail, more reason to listen, and really build something with you. So we need to remi remember to shut the fuck up and listen every now and then. It's crazy what people will tell you and what you'll learn and what you'll experience by just being quiet and silent for a minute, two minutes. By doing this in conversation, we often find that there's like that awkward silence and someone has to break it. Maybe it's not you for once. Maybe it's someone else. Allow yourself to be present. This was one of the greatest things I learned in acting class and through meditation, and I have to say it served me so well. You guys, it's been an amazing week and weekend. I didn't do a Sunday Naked Confession, but I'm going to say, you know, fuck yes to marriage equality and everything that's happened. I'm so proud to be alive and to be a part of this and to be able to say I was there for all of this. Um, there's still a lot to do, so, you know, don't think that this is the end because it really is just the beginning, but you guys, we did it. Congratulations. If you liked this video, then don't forget to subscribe by clicking that little button up top and giving a big thumbs up if you liked this video. And last but not least, if you've got a question or a comment or want to say anything on your mind, feel free to leave it in the section below or tweet at Barrett Hall. Hashtag Ask Barrett. Fourth of July is coming up this weekend for my American friends, so be safe, be smart, and have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love. Over and out. Bye, guys. Do, do, do.